The first movement we are going to discuss is going to be the power snatch. I will be showing the movement here today with a dumbbell, but you can do the same movement with a kettlebell or you could use a barbell. What we're going to start off with is I want you to, if you have a kettlebell or a dumbbell, you're going to place that implement um, between your body, kind of cutting you in half. If you have a barbell, you're going to start with your shins um, pressed up against that barbell, okay? So we're going to start with some um, deadlifts to get going into our power snatches today. So butt squeeze, ribcage is tucked, tummy's tight, hips are going to go back, knees drive out. Push the feet through the floor, stand nice and tall. We're gonna go over 10 reps here together, starting on the right side. Hips go back, knees drive out, pushing the feet through the floor. As I'm descending, my hips are leading the way, the knees go out to the side to follow, all while keeping my belly button pulled to the spine. You can see that I'm tapping just the one head of the kettlebell to the floor as I go down here. Relax. Okay, we're gonna work the opposite side. Butt squeeze, stomach's tight, hips go back. Again, we're not using it, you can go off to the side. We're gonna go over 10 reps here, squeezing the butt, pushing the feet through the floor. Hips lead the way back.
we must stand it up to complete the rest. So that looks like this. I must stand up, full hip extended. The second piece is we want to make sure we bring the dumbbell back down and then use the large lower body muscle to lower back as opposed to letting the dumbbell come down and use our back to throw it back. 